Okay, okay, so like I promised, I'm going to share my meal prep. Let me turn you around. All right, so kitchen is still a mess. Got lots of dishes over there to clean. But this is um, what I was able to accomplish tonight. I've got a few other, few things uh, left to do, but here we go. So this was my scribble down meal plan for the week. The um, the first thing, the uh, the apple onion pork skillet i've still got the um the pork in the fridge so i won't be able to do i wasn't able to cook that it's still thawing um but uh that right there i'm going to take some of these uh green apples and some chopped onion which i still have in the fridge and um, put it in, in with the pork i'll make sure to post a picture whenever i cook it so then we did spaghetti squash which the kids ate some of this tonight uh, but i've got some um, already in in here for me to bring uh, to have for lunch um, and a, or and uh, for lunches the next couple of days so spaghetti squash and ground meat with the spaghetti sauce and just a handful of spinach uh, next, next to it so when I reheat it this will wilt and I can stir it all together and I got some extra greens extra vegetables in my meal and then um, I can um, tomorrow we're going to have the fish with the roasted vegetables and there's more than enough vegetables for um, one meal so what I'll do is I'll be able to eat off of this um, for uh, some lunches as well and then the kids since they normally aren't excited about zucchini and squash and, and onions and you know rosemary all over their their vegetables there um, they'll go with the steamed vegetables. So um, I found this uh, recipe for, I've been in the mood for like the buffalo chicken dinners. So I found a recipe to be able to do this clean. And so I'm trying this out. I haven't tasted it yet. But I cooked these. These are for uh, me and Donald for the following night. So tonight we had spaghetti squash. Tomorrow we're going to have fish. Next night we'll have chicken. Now for the kids, I just did theirs with like garlic powder and onion powder. Um, and they're happy. Just a little bit of seasoning uh, like that. Um, with ours, I did it with the, the Tabasco and vinegar and cayenne. All right. So I've got some fresh mushrooms. So I, cook, I had a big thing of mushrooms. I cooked half that I can use with the ground meat. Um, with some romaine in a wrap later um, or I can just make it a bowl with some of um, with some spinach like this I could I could have meat and mushrooms on over there so this is more of like a buffet kind of style I can either put this I can I can put these together um, and make make another meal out of that this and then these I'll be able to throw on some salads these are already all portioned for me, so I can grab these and have it with some almond butter as a snack. And then we've got some of these uh, little mini peppers, so we can snack on that. Um, or chop them and put them on top of our salads as well. So with the chicken, tin, with the buffalo chicken, um, I'm putting, uh, this was a, uh, a slaw recipe. So it was just... Uh, a cabbage and a bunch of uh, peppers like the red and the green and the orange the red onion and some rice vinegar and you can put salt and pepper on it if you like so it's gonna marinate uh, overnight and I'm gonna this is another one this is a new recipe that I'm that I'm testing out I've never tried it before but it's um, sort of like a coleslaw but um, help you know a healthier version so and then I'll uh, be so doing 22-minute um, hardcore for the month. Um, I will be using the performance line, the uh, recover, and uh, after my workout, recharge um, before I go to bed, energize as my pre-workout, and then um, I'll be supplementing at least one meal a day with um, Shakeology. So we have vanilla, chocolate, and tropical strawberry for the vegan. And um, because it is uh, October and fall weather, so we'll, um, we picked up a can of pumpkin. So I can make some pumpkin with the chocolate and pumpkin with the vanilla. 
um, and uh, test it in my shakes with a, a few different recipes. But um, we also have a couple of uh, recipes planned for, let me turn you around. There's a couple of recipes in the Fix A cookbook that I want to try. Um, we've done the pumpkin muffins before and they have a cream cheese filling, so I'm excited about trying those. We don't have all the ingredients for those, so I kind of have to wait. And I want the kids to help make it again because it was fun the last time that we did it. And then there's, but there's a pumpkin energy bite in there that um, we need almond flour for. And I've never made these before. And they have uh, unsweetened uh, coconut, shredded coconut that you rolled it in afterwards, I think. So um, I'll be sharing that one with you as well. So that's my meal prep, my accountability for the day. Thank you for um, holding me accountable, and I hope that it gives you some ideas if you're looking for um, ways that you can do uh, meal prep. So um, real quick before I go, I'll turn you back around real quick. So the rest of my meal plan here for the, for the week, I've got barbecue ribs um, in the crock pot. Um, so the ribs, just as a reminder, the ribs are still in the fridge. They're still thawing and the pork is in the fridge thawing. So whenever I'm able to get those cooked, I'll share with those on another day. But I wanted to make sure to share my meal prep for tonight. And that's it. And now we're gonna go try the workout after I tuck in my kids. So, all right, talk to you later, bye.